Every year, as winter turns to spring, forces of nature beyond our control take over and something begins to happen in the forest. Sap begins to run inside maple trees. As temperatures warm above freezing in the daytime and plunge back down below 32 degrees at night, the repeated process of thawing and freezing occurring in the sap causes it to run up and down inside the trees. As human beings, we can't control that process. We can't set the dates and times the sap runs or does not run, or how much will flow on any given day. All we can control is whether or not we position ourselves to receive it. On Resurrection Sunday, we celebrate the love of God that is also beyond our control, beyond the scope of our comprehension, beyond our ability to do anything else other than allow it to flow into us. In Ephesians 2, the Apostle Paul says, but God is so rich in mercy and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. He raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. He is making things pretty clear that we do nothing to earn or control salvation. All we do is receive it. Now collecting the running sap isn't the point. The whole point is for it to be transformed into delicious maple syrup. So people who create maple syrup engage in a long and labor intensive process to see that raw sap turned into the delicious goodness with which we smother our blueberry pancakes. They haul buckets, boil sap for hours to evaporate water and concentrate all the sugars then filter the syrup before bottling it up. In the end, what begins with roughly 40 gallons of sap will become one gallon of syrup. And that finished syrup is the point of that entire process. The resurrection of Jesus is both the beginning and the entire point for us. It is the gateway into and power source for a new life, the resurrection life. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, we now gain access to what Jesus called life and life to the fullest. In John 10.10, 10, with the apostle Paul termed life that is truly life in 1 Timothy 6, this new resurrection life has the power to restore relationships with God and with other human beings. It sets us free from the grip of fear, fear of death, fear of disconnection, fear of rejection, and instead causes us to run in the paths of God because our hearts have been set free. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, we are empowered to live beyond ourselves, to love the people around us in the same irrational way God does. See, the raw building blocks for all the sweetness of maple syrup are contained in the sap. And in the same way, the resurrection of Jesus is the raw power that can launch a resurrection kind of life in each of us. The only question is, have you positioned your bucket to receive all that God intends for you? Have you taken advantage of all that God has provided for you through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus? It has nothing to do with our strength or our ingenuity or our ability. It has everything to do with the goodness and power of God. We love God because he first loved us. We pray you will receive that, you will see it, and celebrate that today.